I've never known many artists or rappers in the world to completely halt their career by their own decision. Maybe to rebrand themselves with a new name or step into a new genre. Even if they have a label blocking them from dropping music because of the regulations of the contract. But to willingly say no to making music and only dropping when you want to drop has only been seen by S tier artists like Beyonce or maybe even Hove and to no surprise Frank Ocean as well. But for a SoundCloud artist that is just gaining traction to let it all go, what does it take to make a person go to that extreme? The man that gave up fame for solitude. The man who decided that the industry games weren't for him. The man that would rather pick himself instead of being controlled by the machine that is the music industry. That man is the lonesome and mysterious winter time. Hey everyone, and thanks for clicking on the video. I'm glad it caught your attention and before we start this journey, if you like the content similar to this, make sure to like and subscribe for more to support the growth of the channel. I love retrospective videos and content surrounding SoundCloud or hip hop in general. And if this is for you, share with friends and family. And again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for every new video that I release. This is a really hard video to make because there is really little to no information out there about Winter anywhere on the internet. I even searched Reddit and couldn't find anything about the man. And there aren't any interviews that I could find with him even discussing anything about himself, his past before making music, or anything of the like. This man is a complete mystery and there is nothing I can dig up. Other than Ugly God and Yachty saying that they were really close friends with him. And he just went straight ghost and been ghost since 2016. <laughs> straight ghost. He's so amazing. And he's one of my best friends. Really? There's not much to find on him. I just think it's kind of cool that people going on five to six years later still want him to make a comeback. And we know almost nothing about him. His music doesn't give us much information about him. And he really doesn't have any introspective music that gives us enough to go on. But I'm going to do my best and give you guys all the information I know about the mysterious man known as Wintertime. Wintertime was born on October 4th, 1996 in the trash state of Florida. I'm not joking about that. <laughs> I really think that Florida is a terrible state there's a lot of bad things that happen there i know there's a lot of bad things that happen everywhere but come on just look at all the news surrounding florida this man is so mysterious i couldn't even find his real name on the internet and i swear to you this man has to be working for the cia or something because it seems like all the information on him has been blacked out on a white scantron and is hidden somewhere in a manila folder somewhere in the george bush center for intelligence in virginia that's the home of the cia if nobody knows this man is soundcloud's 007 i swear to you in september of 2015 he dropped his first track you can go on his soundcloud page to start for almost every soundcloud rapper in the era of 2016 being best known for his singles like johnny dang and through it all i've been going through it all yeah back all against the wall he would go on to collaborate with the up-and-coming artist that was building buzz known to all as lil yachty collabing with yachty on their ep winter time on a boat which is the perfect use for their monikers in the title if you ask me strap.us had some great remarks to say about winter time's sound on the ep quoting combining light-hearted surreal and often ridiculous rhymes and pop-minded trap beats wintertime's style was decidedly more melodic and breezy than some of his harsher trap contemporaries end quote in the year 2016 he would go on to release a mixtape titled i know what you did last winter with a special guest feature from the black bald industry artist i love mcconan that mixtape also had very popular songs like by felicia and through it all which is one of my all-time favorites by him and the next year after he would drop his self-titled 10 track mixtape winter time he garnered even more attention after that mixtape when he collabed with at the time artist lil yachty on their album hey let's spend winter time on a boat another perfect name for an album the track Remember December was their best received and well liked song on the project, still gaining millions of listens today and remembered as a legendary collab between the two. I don't remember, I don't remember. Bitch, I'm so cold, yeah, I'm so December. Chasing this chatter, chasing this chatter. Winter time was doing well, he was doing really successful. But what started happening? Why did he start to disappear? Why did he start to reach a decline? 
By the year 2017, Wintertime had accumulated a rather large and very supportive fan base and community. It was not on level as his counterparts like Lil Yachty or Ugly God, but it was still heavily there. But for some reason, we started seeing less and less of Winter. At the beginning of 2017, he started to erase his presence from the internet and social media altogether. With little to no warning and not even notifying his fans as to why this was even happening, not saying if his health was declining, taking time off, or even quitting music in general, it got to the point where there was no music dropping and every now and then on Instagram he would drop one post per month or every couple months. Eventually towards the end of 2017, he made a complete disappearance from social media with no word of a return. Then in July of 2018, he dropped a track with no promotion, just a simple tweet and a link to the song was all it took to send fans into a frenzy. On the 9th of July, he dropped the song Four Door. I've been sliding in that four door. I'm in that two times two, that's four doors. Four doors. I might step out in my concourse. I be bone, I feel like Paul George. Paul George. I be bone, I feel like all stars. In a very wintertime way, he still has this cool, calm, and laid back flow with a beat that gives you chills, but always makes you feel relaxed like you would be in your four door. I don't know how else to explain that, honestly. Just felt good listening to New Winter Time while I was walking and riding the bus to work. But if you had a car at the time this song dropped, let me know how it felt to listen to it in yours. Post it down in the comments, let me know. But anyway, after Forder dropped, we heard nothing again from him. No post and no information as to where he was and what he was working on. Only person feeding us small bits of information is Ugly God, who had always claimed to be really good friends with Winter. I seen a couple of your interviews, nobody fucking mentioned the legend, man. They was talking about takeoff pump. Niggas ain't talking about winter time, man, bro. Winter time every day 365. 366 on a leap year, man. Leap year, nigga. 366 on a leap year, nigga. When I all the time, ooh, nigga. All the time, ooh. When I seen you had him on the album, I was like, bro, this nigga been in the, the, the caucus mountains uh hibernating and shit I, was, I don't know what the fuck this nigga did to get this nigga on the album but that is amazing right there bro so um how did you get that nigga out of hibernation bro that, that nigga's like one of my best friends bro like I, I really only have a few friends and that nigga's one of them especially in the rap industry i'm gonna call that nigga a friend in the industry because that nigga far beyond that shit all that bullshit that's like one of my fucking my friends that's a genuine friend and I've, even this whole time he's been fucking like dormant, I sent him fucking damn near all my music anyway, even the unreleased shit, he sent me some of his shit and we actually have songs and shit, like that's my, my, that's my friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's my friend. What I respect about bro is I honestly feel like he could have capitalized off his fame and just been a, a ignorant ass nigga, just went crazy or whatever. But you could tell like he's not really for the shenanigans and bullshit or whatever that come with the industry or whatnot. And I feel like that's a nigga that's gonna keep his integrity intact. You know what I'm saying? Is that your fan base is just fucking gonna be there regardless, bro? That's crazy. Yeah. That's, crazy. that's something like you being bigger than him. Can you take something from that, even though he's a smaller artist, and be like, damn, like this nigga really not, you know what I'm saying? For sure, I learned a lot from him. I think he probably learned a few things or two from me too, but I've learned a lot from that nigga, but that's a smart ass dude. But he know what he's doing, and like, that's how you know you don't have to be with that bullshit, or always be on the bullshit, being the scene and shit, to just, that shit lame, bro. Now, after watching that interview, there was really nothing that Ugly God had given us about Winter, except for the fact that he was his best friend and that he was on the project. We still had no idea where he was. He eventually was featured in 2019 on Ugly God's sophomore and probably his last album, Bumps and Bruises, on the track Tell Me How You Feel, which in my opinion, it was kind of an okay track. But maybe I need to listen to it a couple more times. Either way, many people were surprised that Ugly God was able to bring him out of hiding. But maybe that just shows how solid their friendship is. A year later, after a quick return to feature on Ugly God's album, Wintertime finally resurfaces and tells the world where he has been for the past two years. He was in Iceland, isolating himself from the world. He didn't give a reason why he was there or what for, but he was going to be making a return to the world of music soon. The post has since been deleted, and the last we heard of him was last year with a single tweet. The tweet said, March 3021. Nothing else. Nothing has come from that tweet. But over the years, he has posted tracks in between this post and before. Nothing to be seen now. Ugly guy stated on Twitter a little bit before that post, saying that Winter will start to post new music in the winter time. It's a little punny, but that was the last we heard of winter time in 2021. This video was kind of hard to make because Winter has zero videos out there on the internet to even attempt to speculate anything about him. He hasn't shared much about his life within his music, talked with anyone in the media about himself, or anything that deals with being on a public platform. 
platform, he has always been a mysterious and closed off entity. We don't even know the man's real name. I mean, I tried to look it up and found absolutely nothing. Why did this man give up his career in music? Why did he isolate himself in Iceland? Why did he halt his career and bring it to an end himself? No one knows the answer to these questions, and I don't think many people are asking it anymore. He was great at what he did. He still has Yachty tweeting about him from time to time. Why does this man choose solitude over fame? Maybe it's a choice he made for the better since the music industry is very cutthroat and he wanted out after being successful. Or maybe he knew how long he would last within it and opted to choose when he drops out and not when the people say so. I honestly don't know anymore. I just want new music from winner. I want to know more about him. But that may not happen. I'm just glad I can still share my emotions with him through his music because I myself am still going through it all. Hey guys, thanks um, for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Uh, this video was extremely hard to make. I've said it a couple times in the video already, but I had fun making this video, <laughs> even though I really gave no new information or very little information on Wintertime. And I think that's what is magical about him and what makes him amazing. So I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. If you haven't heard of Wintertime till you saw this video, please go listen to him. Uh, he's, he makes very good music. It's enjoyable. He's very laid back. He doesn't take himself too seriously. And that's some of the best music that I like myself. He's a legend in the underground or a legend on SoundCloud to me. I don't know if he is for any of you out there, but the fact that we haven't seen this man <laughs> in what feels like forever uh, is kind of strange, but I like it for some reason. Maybe he's just preparing in 3021 to really make his comeback <laughs> when we're all dead. Maybe he's going to freeze his body uh, or something like that. But anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.